Okay, everybody, this is Amin Mojira with Imagination Everywhere and the RIA Institute. <clears throat> and this is a new series on setting up and deploying uh, the Zend uh, shopping cart. Um, the reason why I'm doing this series is because I'm going to have a lot of customers um, who are going to need to configure their shopping cart. And I just want to do a series on this, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's dive right into it. Um, the first video in this series is basically about setting up a domain, uh, not a domain name, but a subdomain. Um, I know some of you may think this is easy, but um, for some some people, it's a difficult thing. So I just want to show show you in this short video how to set up a subdomain. Uh, we're going to start with GoDaddy. Um, if you log into your GoDaddy account, which I've already done um, right here, um, and you click on Domain Manager. Um, I'll go ahead and click on it. You click on Domain Manager. It takes you to your domain field right here. And if you go ahead and click on your the domain that you want to create subdomains for, such as this right here, and then you scroll down um, here. If you haven't created any domains, it's going to tell you um, to add domains instead of manage. But I've as you can see I've created a lot of domains so let me just go ahead and create one more subdomain uh, click on manage and it gives you all these fields as you can see and so what I want to do is go ahead and add a subdomain now with different hosting companies is different you know who's ever whoever you uh, reserve your domain name with is going to be different um, so uh, you definitely want to um, find out what their procedure is but this is GoDaddy's procedure so what we want to do is we want to go say um, I am creating a domain name uh, I had an idea what I was going to oh. uh, let's say we create a domain name for um, Templates. Oh, I already got a domain name for templates. So let's do a, a domain name for um, uh, links. So I got links at imaginationeverywhere.info. So all I really have to do is just highlight um, the imaginationeverywhere.info and don't include the, the, the period, but include everything else right here and just uh, copy it you can write it or you can copy it and do this and if you have a uh, SSL enabled you can do HTTPS um, but you know just do that and always do unless you're gonna forward it to another domain name um, always click on the advanced options um, if you forward it to another domain name um, you put that domain name here so Say for instance, I wanted to forward it to Fat Cat Media House dot um, com. That's my graphic designer. That's where I would put it, and that's what I would do. And I just say I permanently f am forwarding it. But I'm not doing that, so I'm going to go ahead, and Control V, and put in Imagination Everywhere, and then do uh, domain masking. Give it a title. Uh, this is uh, what did I do? This is for this is Imagination everywhere links and this is a domain subdomain subdomain for links to the imagination everywhere site and then you put keywords in if you want it if you want the search engines to pick it up um, do like that and then you just uh, click preview just to make sure that it'll come up and as you can see if you get a picture it'll show you the front page of your website so here's the front page of my website and you just click OK and it's submitting and you get a message and it's created uh, it's created on the right here as you can see it's uh, links that imagination everywhere that info um, and that's just the first process I can show you a sample site uh, here's my shopping cart site with a uh, uh, a subdomain uh, store 
dot imagination everywhere dot info uh, as you can see store dot imagination everywhere dot info and there it is um, so this is just I'm just showing you how easy it is to create a subdomain and uh, you shouldn't have a problem with that and as you can see if I uh, refresh it refresh this the links subdomain is so it has showed up so um, that's just this video this first video we're gonna get into this is the Zen shopping cart that uh, we're gonna be editing and configuring and there's no tut there's not a lot of tutorials a lot of good tutorials out there about this so I'm gonna go ahead and dedicate this uh, dedicate to this series so that everybody will know how to do this you know how to edit the templates how to change like the links how to change the home page how to do everything with the Zen shopping cart so um, I look forward to working with you guys in this series um, give me your comments and as you know if you comment I will feed I will give you feedback so alrighty let's dive into this and thank you for watching this video